YouTube, it's on Wednesday the 28th of January today and I'm off to do my first job, my only job today uh, for the afternoon at uh, Melton Bowls Club for three hours. Uh, it's 20 past 12, I'm hoping to start Melton at quarter to one so I'll be done before, uh, well about quarter to four and uh, I've got my long pole today, long reach pole wolf garden and I'm hoping to uh, possibly rake back some of the weeds that were in front of the metal railings uh, but I'll see how I go, see what it's like when I get there. I'll see you soon. It's now um, 12.35 and I'm at Melty Bowls Club and I'm going to start I think on the um, the weeds around the railings, uh, the gate, fence railings, so all those weeds around there. I'm going to look at uh, just chopping down and either dragging out or flattening down and it might take me the whole three hours uh, to be honest but if there's any time left I'll go around and blow the pebbles off the block paving and do a little pick um, and yeah that's all I'm going to be doing today so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've now finished the uh, trimming with the um, long reach hedge cutters and I've had a strip off. Um, I've got the hot in my uh, fleece shirt and jacket that I've uh, sweated rather a lot. You can see how much I've perspired. Obviously, I took that off now because if I leave that on, I'm just going to catch a cold. And I'll, I'll quick, quickly show you around. So 
so that looks a lot better, a lot more tidy. I'm just going to go along now with the long reach rake on a pole. And this extends quite a long way, I'll show you how, how far. Four hundred centimeters. That's four meters. That's right. Sure, I need the full four meters for the job, but just put that down. Can't find the old. There we go. So that's long enough for my needs. now which is rather nice and also helps improve uh, people's visibility of it and the health and safety of seeing it don't want anyone falling in there it's deep Let's see how far that's almost to the uh, the reach of the uh, yellow section pole it's a good good two foot so you wouldn't want a kid kid falling into that so yeah, I'm going to carry on now, just drag it to the side and then see if I can get any of it on the fire heap. If not, I'll do that on the next visit. So I'm just going to try something that might be a little bit risky. Um, wait for the train to go by. Um, this is a waterproof camera, so I'm going to see if I can put it in the stream. Uh, it be the first time I've dropped this camera into water. It'll probably be full of muck in the water, but uh, Probably interesting nonetheless.
making good progress. It's coming out really well. And one uh, bit of advice for doing a job like this um, is to leave the um, waste on the bank uh, at least for a few days. Uh, that gives a chance for any wildlife and bugs and things to work, work their way back down into the um, stream. But it's hard work. Um, hopefully, I'll get the majority of this done up to the up to the corner there near the fence, and then see how I go with that side. And as I say, I'll leave the waste until next time. But yeah, it's going well. It's making it look really nice. Uh, just a Lucas Aid bottle there, I'll drag out. It's quite a bit of litter, litter down here. But I'm enjoying it. It feels, it feels a, bit, a little bit like um, volunteer work, to be honest. So it's nice that I'm getting paid to do this. The old Robin's around somewhere. There he is. Just got into the corners. And back again. He's thinking, where's my, where's my bugs? But yeah, I'm going to leave it there and carry on. I was wondering when I was going to come across some wildlife and I just found the frog. left so I'm going to abandon the uh, trench dredging now and get the uh, pebbles on the p uh, paving sorted out and any, any litter so I'll just show, show you the finished the finished um, result all the rest on the side It's um, Thursday the 29th of January today, it's coming up for 20 to 8. Uh, my first job's in Upper Borton, which is about 13 miles away. Uh, I've got to be there for 8, that's for 3 hours, until 11 o'clock. And then um, after that I've got a um, conifer cut in Cronenborough, a one-off uh, yearly job uh, that a customer has me do. And after that I've got a, an hour or two in Thermiston, just digging over a bed and possibly putting in some um, winter plants. As you can see, um, it's drizzly, it's been uh, snowing a little bit in the night, not too much, it's coming down a little bit now again, but I don't think it will settle too much, hopefully. Apparently there was an earthquake uh, last night um, of 3.8 on the magnitude. Um, I think the, um, the centre of it was in Cottesmore, which is in Woodland, which is about 15 miles away from here. I didn't feel anything. I don't know what time it was, around midnight, I think. Uh, but some people in Moulton, etc., felt the quake. It lasted for about 10 seconds, apparently. Uh, and then I've got a job to view um, in Barkby Thorpe, uh, just taking out some ivy and bindweed. Uh, a lady emailed me about that, so I've got to go and, well, I've got to ring her to organise time to go and do that. So that's my job for today. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've been at Upwarton for about 10 minutes. Um, no one's here at the moment, so I've sent a text um, asking what they want doing. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. So all I'm doing at the moment is just filling up the bin because they're being collected today. I'm taking advantage of that, uh, just cutting back all the uh, perennials and things uh, where they've died off and where they need doing. So I'm just going to get this out before the bin run come. found my first wind damage of the day and this is on their choice here um, it's obviously caught the uh, the weight of that and bent it over and snapped it and as you can see it's now <laughs> got a big gap in the middle but that will fill out eventually hopefully the frost won't get it now I've had to cut it off uh, to where it's uh, snapped off but the rest seems okay so that's a bit from the frost and then we can give that a prune later in the spring. It's 
So, 29th of January, and I think uh, spring's coming early. Some uh, lovely little snowdrops coming up there. I uh, just went down to cut, well, just went to cut down the, one of the perennials. I think it's a spurge, I think. I could be wrong. Cut me, cut me if I am. So I just cut that back and then noticed the choice here has sustained more damage than I thought. You can see a big tear there. Uh, hopefully the frost won't get that now. Uh, it's got all that foliage to protect it. But that took off quite a big big branch. You can see the tear here. Just there, quite a big tear. So that's had to come out unfortunately, which is a shame because that's quite a lot of growth. But at least that fills the bin up. I'm going to put this out now because I don't think it'll be long before they dry. And then uh, he's asked me to carry on with the the hedge down the bottom to get the brambles out on the left behind the shed there. And there's a couple of holes apparently somewhere in the lawn that he wants filling in. So I'm going to go and do that. So these uh, holes aren't very big, uh, but the holes nonetheless. Not quite sure what's been digging in there. Uh, it's either a fox or their dogs. After something anyway. So I've got some soil put in here. Reseeding, uh, but I shan't do that till the spring because it just won't germinate. It's a point in time, something else has gone down there. I think that's probably a mole actually. Mole or something. I know there's no hill there, but I suppose it could be a mouse or something. That's that done. Uh, but as I said, he wants the brambles taking out, continuing with the hedge started down there near the fence and. There's uh, quite a few more brambles to plant here. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so I've just um, I've just tugged out a bramble from. Uh, that area there and as you can see it's a big massive tangle and quite interesting is it's quite old and the older these things get uh, the more like a rose they look that to me looks like you could mistake that for a rose uh, branch but no it's a bramble That's what I've got out so far. Loads of brambles in here. Uh, but it looks like that tree, just that, is dead. So that might have to come out. Um, we'll see how we go when we get all this dead stuff out. But there's a lot of root in here as well. Been pulling out of the brambles. Yeah, so uh, I'm out of breath. So I'm just taking a quick rest. Brambles grow rather large. There's the root. And here's the stem I'm pulling off. As you can see, it's all the way up there into the tree. Look at the size of that thing. That's got to be at least, well, I don't know, six to eight metres long. There's the end. So this tree is most definitely dead. As you can see, all the bark's gone. Hey, oh, morning. Uh, well watered. 
so that'll be coming down. I'll get the owner to do that because he's got a chainsaw. Uh, I, I don't have chainsaw and I don't have chainsaw license, so I'll show him doing that one. I just pulled a big bit of ivy from here. I'd gone up the um, elder. It's a nice yew growing here. So that should add nicely to the hedge that he wants to plant uh, to replace all these brambles that are coming out. But as you can see, I've cleared quite a big area now. And there's a nice big bit of rubbish to uh, pull out from the bonfire over there. Just there. I'll probably do that on the next visit. Um, I'll big, drag out the, uh, the big strangly bits and then get his trailer on the, on the bits that will fit in there. So yeah, I'm making progress. Bit of an uh, exhausting job, but I'm getting there. So um, last week I ran you a quiz, um, January 15, week 4 I think the video was and it was a plant a weed that had yellow roots and here's another one and it is of course a nettle and you can actually buy these um, as a plant to plant in the garden for uh, the, the wildlife gardens of the designers so yeah that's the answer to last week's quiz uh, there was another plant i mentioned uh, which had yellow wood on the inside, yellow spiky flowers, prickly leaves and um, I shan't try to tell you what that one is yet, I'll tell you uh, when I find one and yeah that's the answer to that, to that question. coming to an end. And I basically jump from there to there and that's the amount of rubbish I've got. I'm just going to put the uh, the half rail back in the hose over so the alpacas can't get through if, he, if they have them in the field. But there's still this area here to do uh, which isn't as half as bad as the area I've just done. So that probably continues on the next visit. Just thought you might enjoy a little bit of bird song. No idea where he is, but it sounds nice.
pieces of uh, conifer. It's now quarter past 12 and I finished the conifer in Quenneborough, uh, finished that about 10 past and I'm home now to drop off the waste and um, earlier this morning I um, was changing a light bulb in the, in the rear, rear lights and one of the, well one of the whole side, the lights went out basically on the left, passenger side on the back and I didn't have time to check it this morning so um, I've just checked the fuses and it is indeed the fuse, uh, it was number 8 and this is a 10 amp fuse, uh, I don't know if you can see there in the middle, there we go, it's uh, blown, so luckily enough I've got a 10 amp spare fuse, so that's going to go in, and then I'll try out the lights. I do like these old cars, they are very accessible and generally 
easy to fix. So that screw's gone in. I'm going to start the engine, put the lights on. Yep, that's better. That's the one that was out. That's good. And that's the one I was checking earlier. And if you push, push it down really hard, it goes on. So that's when the light's blue, when I've tried to prise up the, the metal prong. Uh, to try and give it some tension, uh, so I'm going to probably have to get that looked at. So as I say, I'm going to drop the waste off. Probably have a quick snack at home and then shoot off to Thermoston to do... No, it's just a quick dig over of a raised bed, it shouldn't take too long. That's how much waste I got off the conifers. Not an awful lot, but... Now I have charged that weight, uh, I've only charged £3 for that because it's going to go straight in my brown bin at home. Uh, also charged for fuel for the hedge cutters, £2 for fuel and then I charged 20 labour. So I do believe it's snowing. It's Friday the 30th of January and we had some snow yesterday uh, it's not all melted yet measure this has turned to ice and first problem of the day is i can't get in the van <laughs> i've got to wait for it to flow out a little bit key just won't turn so yeah i'm gonna try and heat it up well i'm in um just gone eight o'clock i'm in my uh i'm at my first job at switherland for half past eight for four hours so I'm just going to defrost the van. There we go. It's now 12 o'clock and uh, my first job in Switzerland. Um, I had to cancel because of the snow on the ground. Uh, the roads going there were just that, that icy and um, slushy that the van was just sliding even at 20 miles an hour uh, when you braked. Um, so that got cancelled, so I went to my uh, road through job early um, and I did that. That was two hours, so um, I've only earned £25 a day, uh, but you can't win them all. Um, I'm not too, too fussed because I've just organised to go and view another job, uh, a one-off job, I think, at one o'clock in Barkley Thorpe, and that's clearing um, some ivy and bindweed. Uh, I was hoping to get to that yesterday, but um, I had work all day in the end, so... Um, I won some yesterday, lost some today. Uh, I'll go and see what he's doing um, in Barkby Thorpe at 1 and then uh, book her in a date um, if she agrees uh, on the price and if I want to do the work. And, and then that'll be it. So I should be home by 2 and then I've got the afternoon free. So uh, that's, a, that's a good one for me really. Yep, so I'll, I'll see you soon. It's 10 to 2 and I've decided to use my time to give the van a much needed hoover out. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I have not touched it for a year, if not longer. All sorts down here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get this clean and it's now coming up for four o'clock and I've only just finished. It's taken all that time to clear out just the front uh, of the van. I've not even touched the back. Uh, but it's all nice and hoovered out now. Do with some new maps, but there we go. You can tell the difference from earlier. 